I'm Owen Big Len. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Okay, quick little blog today on a new piece, a new rule change uh, with the Real Estate Council of British Columbia and the real estate boards here. It's a new uh, document that's going to be required called Disclosure of Multiple Offers Presented. And it's about time. This is a, you know, I complain a lot about some of the government you know, interaction or intervention in real estate and the bureaucracy and the paperwork that they keep putting on us and a lot of the stuff is useless. It's not going to do anything. Cooling off period would be there. The flipping tax one would be there for sure. It's, it wasn't necessary. Watch my other blogs on it. But this disclosure of multiple offers presented is a, finally, it's going to add more transparency to the buying and selling process here. And it's something that I've been advocating, I've done blogs on this, that I've been advocating to the board for over seven years now that they should implement something like this. It's so simple. It's just a one-page form that uh, gives everyone uh, full transparency on a multiple offer situation. So how it works is this. Uh, if I receive, and I just had one last week, I received five, uh, four offers on the, on the home. Uh, it's a simple one-page form that lists the date that the offer was received, the brokerage that the offer was received from. It doesn't list the individual realtor, just the brokerage. So you list all the offers it received. So in this one, I had four different brokerages that submitted offers and the contact information of that brokerage. This is then signed by my seller, because of course I've presented all four offers to my seller on offer night, and then I provide the uh, all the realtors that offered on this, this one page form. So now they have transparency, clarity on exactly how many offers. Now of course I told them, I've got four offers in hand, or I've got five offers in hand, uh, and you will now receive this disclosure of multiple offers form so that it verifies it. Before this, folks, and I've been advocating for this to the boards for years and years, as have a lot of my colleagues, there was nothing. Uh, you had to take the word of the realtor. Realtor tells you, hey, it's you and five other offers. Okay, I guess that's what it is. It's me and five other offers. I got pretty stiff competition on this. And, you know, Listen, I, I'm not going to get into it. I think years ago, I think 99.9% .9 of the realtors were very honest about this thing. If they said they had five offers, that's how many they had. But I think there was some finagling going on here. There's always a few that, you know, they had two offers, but they told everyone they had the other offers. They had five offers, which would, in, cor in course, uh, cause you to put your best offer forward, increase your offer. Uh, so this way, uh, this solves all of that. And I think it's fantastic. It was such a simple form to put together. It takes two seconds to fill out. So from this point on, if you are in a multiple offer situation, you and your realtor, uh, your realtor will now provide you with this disclosure of multiple offers presented that he can take to you and say, hey, we didn't get the home. It was us and five other offers or us and eight other offers and it's been verified here. This is by the selling realtor sent me this and it's been signed by the seller. So again, more transparency, which is necessary. These, this was a, is definitely a step in the right direction again. I can't comment on you know what went on uh, in the past. Uh, I know that there was some you know we get an email from the council every year, uh, every month our, from our uh, for realtors board members that have dis disciplinary action against other realtors for all kinds of things. Uh, there's hundreds of realtors that are have run amok of the real estate council uh, for various reasons, missing signatures or initials or whatever. But I think in the past. There might have been some embellishment on how many offers were received. I had heard stories about, you know, they didn't even have multiple offers. The offer that was in was the only offer and the realtor went back and said, hey, it's you and two others. So of course they revise their offer up. They're bidding against themselves. So I can't comment much more on that, but, and what went on, who knows, as I say, 99% of realtors, I think, followed the book with this. Uh, and, and you know, you could trust what they said with how many offers, but hey, at least this, now you're recovered, uh, signed by the seller, uh, and uh, all uh, offers that are submitted, your realtor will get a copy of this uh, disclosure of multiple offers presented, so you'll know exactly how much competition you had now. I'm Owen Biglen. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I'll see you next week.